If you're tired of FL Studio lagging and freezing, this video is for you. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how you can make FL Studio run faster right now. Let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do to get FL Studio to run smoother is make sure your computer is running in a high performance mode. You don't want it running in any kind of a balance mode or any kind of energy saving mode. This is going to make sure your computer is using all the resources available to you. You can do this on Windows or on Mac OS. For Windows, you can come to your search bar and search for power options, go to additional power settings, and here you can set it and make sure you're in some kind of a high performance mode, either one specific to your processor or a general high performance mode. In FL Studio, go to options, go to audio settings and make sure that you're using an ACO driver. Now, if you have a audio interface, you're going to want to use the audio driver for that interface. In my case, that would be a Focusrite style ACO. But if you don't have one, then just use FL Studio ACO or ACO for all. Using an ACO driver is going to give you the best quality audio with the least amount of latency. Once you select that, then you can play around with the buffer length until you find the minimum buffer size that doesn't give you any slowness. Once you find that size, if you start seeing slowness, then just ramp it back up until you no longer have that. The latency really comes into play when you're recording audio through a microphone or when you're inputting MIDI notes through a keyboard. The more latency you have, then the more off time your recordings and your MIDI notes are going to be. So you're gonna want the least amount of latency that you can get without experiencing slowness inside of FL Studio. Next, you're gonna to wanna to go to the general tab inside of the settings and make sure you have animation set to don't distract me. If you are using heavy plugins like Omnisphere, open them up and go to the wrapper settings. Go to the processing tab and make sure you have enabled allow threaded processing and allow smart disable. For those same heavy plugins, if you have patterns in your playlist that are recording the MIDI notes for that plugin, you can right click the pattern, render and replace. And that's going to convert the MIDI notes to audio. And now you can go disable the plugins and save the resources. Another thing that you can do to free up RAM is to go to tools, macros, and purge unused audio clips. So any clips that aren't in use aren't taking up memory. One little known tip is going to options, go to project general settings, and you can change the time base or the PPQ to a smaller number. And what that's gonna do is reduce the resolution of the playlist, meaning you can't make as fine of movements with your clips or as fine of cuts, but most of the time people don't need it to be that defined anyway. And so moving it down won't hurt you, but do not do this in the middle of a project. Only do this in the beginning. If you do it in the middle of a project, you may have some of your notes or clips actually move. Now that I got FL Studio running smoother for you, why don't you go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button and then we can call it even, all right? Check out this video of my top three recommended VST plugins. Until next time, this is Al B and we are out. Yes, sir.